What's going on guys? Hey, today I wanted to take a look at these new solar panels we got. And the best part is, they're designed to be walked on. Check it out. All right, you guys, let's talk solar. So, what we have here is a Custom Marine product, 175 watt solar panel. I'm not affiliated with these guys at all. Just uh, like the product, they didn't pay us to do this, just uh, as a disclosure. These panels are designed to be walked on. There's plenty of people out there that will say you can walk on the semi-flexible stuff you can buy all over the place, like on Amazon, but I promise you it damages the cells and after a while, they're gonna be worthless. There's been plenty of people that have uh, looked into that, done some studies on it, and they all fall apart if you walk on them a bunch. They just aren't designed for that. These, however, are designed to be walked on, which is great. We have all this real estate on top of our vans and campers and whatnot, and you know, if we fill the entire roof with a thousand watts of these things, it, it makes it so difficult to keep them clean or do maintenance. Um, if you're not able to walk on solar panels. So this is a real game changer in my opinion to be able to get up on that rooftop, clean, maintain, do everything you need to do um, without risking damaging your solar panels. In addition, who doesn't like to sit up top on the van and uh, take in a little different view for a sunset or something. So uh, these, these were a no brainer for us. We're really excited to have that extra living space of on top of the camper to enjoy things and, you know, get that fun perspective. So these panels come in a 110, 120, 150 or 175 watt configuration. Pardon the computer, I just want to get these specs right. Uh, this is the 175 watt panel. It's the Class A monocrystalline sun power cells. Peak power voltage is 29.4, amps is 6, open circuit is 34.7 volts, and cell efficiency is 23.7, and they come with a five year warranty. Dimensions on these is are uh, 37 inches by 37 inches and they weigh about 17 pounds and it comes with a six foot uh, three eighths inch outside diameter duplex cable. The panel itself is just a quarter inch thick and has a nice pebbled texture to both the top and the bottom. This just helps to make them more slip resistant and more importantly, helps with cooling. You can get either the white background like I have or the full black background. I opted for the white just to help with keeping the panel a touch cooler and gaining that little bit of extra efficiency. But I must admit the black do look really nice. Like I mentioned earlier, some of the reasons we wanted to walk on solar panel was to be able to spend time up on our roof. We're building out this box truck overland vehicle and it's really it's just great to be able to chill up there and um, get a different perspective on things enjoy a sunset and so um, having that option is going to be really nice for us in addition there's a lot of times where we might have our inflatable sup board and instead of rolling it up we might just throw it up on top for a short trip if we know we're going to be using it again and we don't have to worry about damaging solar panels if, if we're throwing that board up on top of these so for us we're super excited about it um, we're going to be our our entire electrical build is going to be based off of a master volt system i'm going to be doing some more videos on this system and why we went with this over victron but uh, this here is the solar charge controller. We plan to wire these up parallel and these will be feeding a 24 volt system. Um, at parallel, we're gonna be looking, uh, we've got six panels, so that's gonna bring us in about 35 volts at 38.4 amps to the charge controller. And like I said, we got a ton more content coming on this. Be sure to subscribe. 
Next up, we'll be doing a little walkthrough of all the MasterVolt components, as well as the C-Zone digital switching that we're gonna be using. And um, we're documenting every inch of this build. So stick around, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.